Hello everyone and welcome to the ATEC channel. We hope you're well and ready for our new topic of today. Today, we're going to look at hydrogen. Hydrogen has many uses. Did you know that it's used in welding, glass, and circuit board manufacturing? It's most commonly used in rocket fuel. In large industrial areas such as Ruhr in Germany and Gulf of Mexico, hydrogen is already being transported by pipelines. However, for hydrogen to play its role in the energy transition, we must change the way it's produced. But it will also require a full fold increase in revenue and reduction of GHG emissions. Some experts say the process can be expensive, risky, and unrealistic. But is it really? In this video, we'll show you how Germany has made its mark with a mysterious gray paste made from hydrogen. Don't move, it starts now. A hydrogen vehicle does not get much press compared to the electric car. And yet, its qualities are real, even if they're not well known. France, a latecomer to the field, has started to deploy a fuel cell service. The craze for cars equipped with this technology is glowing in California, as well as in Japan, where hydrogen can also be used to supply electricity to households. But what exactly is hydrogen? It is first and foremost an atom, the smallest that exists in the universe. It is also the most common chemical element in the universe. But now that we're talking about it, it has also become the new formula for fuel. The first hydrogen engine was developed in the French engineers in 1970s. The combustion of hydrogen, which is two hydrogen atoms together, produces energy, but it also produces water, so it doesn't pollute. And it doesn't contribute to global warming either, because there is no release of carbon dioxide. On the other hand, the production of hydrogen, which today is almost always obtained from natural gases, releases carbon dioxide. CO2 is a gas that contributes greatly to the greenhouse gas effect. This process is also known as gray hydrogen. Finally, it is more polluting than the direct use of diesel. There is another method called electrolysis. In other words, the introduction of electricity into water. Oxygen is produced on the one side and hydrogen on the other. It doesn't pollute because the energy used to create the electricity is renewable of a nuclear origin. Therefore, little greenhouse gas is produced. Many companies began experimenting with injecting 10 to 20% hydrogen directly into pipelines. Japan wants to use more anane produced hydrogen and nitrogen to reduce greenhouse gases from thermal power plants. It remains to be seen how the nitrogen oxides produced by this process will be treated. Although these gases do not have a major impact on the climate, they are nevertheless responsible for acid rain and depletion of ozone layer. Hydrogen has been all the rage in recent years. Since the last summer, France has suddenly decided to spend billions of euros to create a low-carbon hydrogen industry. It has been closely followed by Germany, Japan, South Korea, and China. It must be said that hydrogen is currently the only significant alternative to fossil fuels. Moreover, it can be used for many important activities. For example, freight transport, heat production, and heavy industry. However, hydrogen is not the energy source itself. It is a carrier, like electricity. It is most abundant molecules in the world are rare, thus hydrogen is produced like electricity. It is then stored, distributed, and then used. How hydrogen is produced, with or without greenhouse gases emissions, is just as important as how hydrogen is used, transported, and stored. In fact, while hydrogen technology is succeeding on transportation, it still presents many challenges. The hydrogen car is equipped with a fortification tank that is supplied with 700 bar of pressure. This tank feeds on fuel cells, which the car converts into hydrogen into electricity. This, in turn, forms an electric motor that propels the car. More importantly, hydrogen helps extract energy from the sun and wind. Currently, difficulty in storing the intermittent energy is one of the main obstacles preventing other continuous use. Batteries can be used for this, but their low consistencies and rapid wear and tear are not very suitable. A new and excellent way to use hydrogen can be developed by a team of Forhein Institute for Manufacturing Technology. They have developed a hydrogen solution called Power Paste. Indeed, the German Science Institute declared in the press release to have developed a way to store hydrogen in the chemical form that is easily to transport and inexpensive to reconstitute. This alternative should be very interesting for small vehicles like hydrogen scooters or motorcycles. This magnesium-based hydrogen paste can be stored and carried for use. For example, to power a hydrogen fuel cell, powered two-wheeler, hydrogen bike, or a scooter. To refuel a driver, simply replace the old cartridge with a new one and fill the tank with water. This idea of hydrogen cartridges is not new. It's been developed by the Swiss company StoreH for many years. However, the method of storing hydrogen in the cartridges is new. It seems simple, safe, and very efficient in terms of energy density. But how exactly does it work? Well, the hydrogen paste stores hydrogen in the chemical form at room temperature and atmospheric pressure, 
and the hydrogen is then released when needed. Because the paste only begins to decompose at temperatures above 240 degrees Celsius, drivers no longer have to worry about overheating. You can even take the risk of leaving your vehicle in the sun. Another big advantage of the hydrogen paste is a high energy storage density. That's much higher than 700 bar high pressure tank. Compared to batteries, it is 10 times the energy density. With this density, the paste alone is equivalent to the net energy intensity of fossil fuels like gasoline. It can also be a possible option for the power cars and drones. IFAM has established a pilot plant in the city of Braunschweig that can be produced 4 tons of hydrogen paste per year in test use in real life situations. Can you imagine tomorrow recharging your car with hydrogen by mixing it with a cartridge that you can keep at home? This is what the new energy paste should allow. After the completion of this research project, hydrogen storage solutions will be numerous. Large drones will be able to extend their autonomy for hours. Remember that day we can fly them out of autonomy for at least 20 minutes? Another job or activity could benefit from a small mobile and compact energy device. Even campers could go out in the country with a toaster and a coffee maker without worrying about the power supply. This creamer will likely replace the cylindrical pressure tanks used to supply hydrogen to fuel cells. According to the Frohoster research, the refuel process is simple. Instead of going to the hydrogen refueling station, the fuel cell operator will do his process himself. He fills the tank with the right amount of tap water and adds paste. The amount of paste depends on the power required. The mixture will produce hydrogen gas and convert it into electricity for the generator. The big advantage is that only half the hydrogen comes from the power paste and the other half comes from the water. And with that conclusion, we've come to the end of our video. Do you think the gray hydrogen paste will revolutionize the world in a few years? Tell us what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed our topic of the day, feel free to like this video. To enjoy more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment and suggest future topics, and activate that notification bell to be among the first to see our next video. We'll see you soon on ATEC.